Hello, this is Crazy Ivan 7 and we're going to start a new survival series. This is Survival Triton. So the theory is I was dropped here to do some research and I have lost contact with my control ship. So it might be somewhere up there, but I don't know where. This is what we're starting with. It's a survival vehicle that I created. It is the Azov Heavy Survival Vehicle. Uh, just some basics. It's got hydrogen tanks, storage container, survival kit. Uh, nothing too extreme. Just looks cool. Uh, and that's all we're starting with. So here we are on Triton. I came to this high point to try to get contact with my with my ship and was unable to. Uh, so now I have to figure out how to get off this rock on my own. I've got a few mods here. Um, there is not going to be gold, silver, or uranium or platinum on this planet. Um, we're running with the vanilla or uh, mod that is going to change where the vanilla ores are located. So all we have on this planet is cobalt, magnesium, and then the regular, you know, nickel, iron, and uh, silicone. So this is my sole survival kit. So I need to protect this thing as best as I can. Um, right here. Now uh, we're also running a few uh, NPC mods. We've got Incon, Parallax, Trade, Federation. We've turned off the vanilla cargo ships and encounters. Uh, there should still be space stations out there and potentially stations on the planet surface that I can find and do missions with. Uh, a few rules that I'm going to set for myself. Um, I cannot leave this planet until I have established a somewhat of a base that I can breathe in and is established and uh, set um, and I cannot fly more than two kilometers from either the vehicle that I'm in or the base that I am at. Uh, so that will limit my jetpack usage. Um, And obviously, we're going to get started here. Uh, we've got a few block mods and stuff like that that we can talk about as we go through. Nothing too big deal. Um, so obviously, I'm not going to take my ship down this cliff. Uh, so I'm going to have to head back down this valley that I came up and try to find a good spot to start start an outpost. So we're going to take this easy here. I do not have any supplies. If there's a little bit of ice in my kit. That's about it. It's keeping me with oxygen and hydrogen in the cold. So what did I already break? Something. Already broke something. What did I break? Just a little armor. Nothing big deal. We'll fix that later. Uh, I also forgot to turn those off, so let's do that. this has an ore detector. It does have an ore detector. So our ore detector is on. Let's crank up the distance here. Uh, some of the ores can be very deep in this uh, server with the mod. It's uh, 
magnesium and, and silver and that's on the moon and whatnot um, can be upwards of eight or nine hundred meters under the surface gold and all that as well um, you could find the iron nickel and whatnot a little bit closer to the surface but it can be down there as well so what do we got here we got well let's just get out of this valley or this uh, canyon whatever this is it's pretty but it's a little too volatile I think and dark to set up a base so let's get out of here try to limit my descent speed a little bit around 30 And I think I might be near the North Pole. I've never played on Triton before, so this is a new experience for me. Um, I guess there's a lot of ice. This came with the was the snow download, whatever the ice DLC. Uh, don't remember what it was called, but I did get it back when it came out, and I never really played on this planet. A few things, uh, so Triton normally does not have a moon and, and the moons are the only place you can find silver and gold. Uh, so in order to make a jump drive to get to the alien planet for uranium, um, I've moved Titan to the... I've not moved, I've copied it. So there's a copy of Titan, and it is now a moon of this planet as well. And spiders are enabled, so I'm going to have to work, watch out for that. We've got um, meteors that are going to be coming in on meteor showers, so I've got to watch out for those as well. So I'm going to have to build up my ammo and armory. Um, got nickel and iron here. Maybe I'll stop for some iron that could potentially be a benefit. Also, uh, since I'm on the North Pole, I think I'm going to probably try to head south and then try to get somewhere under the... try to get somewhere under the moon, which I did not point it out, but it is up over that way somewhere. I could see it when I was up in that canyon top up there. So you can see where we started. So we've already gone four and a half kilometers almost. That's not too bad. That's a long canyon. Um, oh, good. So this iron is not too deep. I could just get some stone. I mean, all I have right now is the survival kit, but... So I'm not going to be able to process this iron, but I would like to... get some, just so that when I get my refinery up... will have some iron that I can refine with it. Moving around on me here. So these first couple episodes I'm going to try to, um, you know, talk a little bit like I'm, I'm trying to help out some new players. Hopefully we can get some of the, the folks that have gotten into the PlayStation release and everything. Um, some newer players on PC. Get you guys a little bit more uh, familiar with how the game works. So right now I've just got my drill out. Uh, I am right clicking which is going to just bore a hole. It's not actually mining anything. Um, just creates a hole basically that I can fit down. You can do this with your hand tools or vehicle tool or, or whatever. Uh, any of the, the drills will do this. Let's see if we can get down to this iron here. And I do have to watch my oxygen or my hydrogen levels and my power because I am not. not have a jetpack or a bottle so so bottle will supplement my suit 
uh, supplies for hydrogen, oxygen, um, and right now I do not have anything but these fuels. So I did turn on, or I did get the mod for automatic ore collection. Um, I do not like chasing down the rocks that come out of this drilling. So just adds a little bit of quality of life. I'm not losing anything. Not gaining much other than just not having to walk around and pick that stuff up. So, if you alt, hit your alt key and middle mouse, it'll dump all of the ore that you've picked up into your uh, swab kit. Oh, I do have some bottles. Those shouldn't have been there. So, let's, uh, let's just dump these and pretend I don't have them, because uh, I think those were there when I pasted the vehicle in. They should have been. So... Bye bye bottles. Let's go down and get another load of this stuff. I might get like three maybe loads of this for now. Nickel can be used in motors, which I'm going to need for some drills. Later, so I might go see if I can head over to that nickel uh, deposit as well and grab some of that. We'll get some iron here for now. So, so even though you do have the uh, automatic ore collection, uh, I still gotta pick this up sometimes. Or you just leave it; it disappears eventually. Not like chasing ore. So we'll just drill it and collect it. Now where's that nickel at? Straight that way, 130 meters. Let's see if we can get somewhere closer. So I don't have to drill so far. After I drop this, uh, you low. After I drop this off. Fuel critical. So, you can see my suit is telling me my fuel is low, so that's my hydrogen. Um, if you have hydrogen on your vehicle, or in your, uh, in your, in your ship, vehicle, whatever you need, to H2O2 generator, this is going to create hydrogen and oxygen. And then I've got a hydrogen, hydrogen tank and an oxygen tank here. There's also a hydrogen tank somewhere right there. Oh, there's a couple of them, four of them. So these are just a small hydrogen tank so they don't hold a whole lot. Um, if you come in here we've got the hydrogen tanks. Looks like they're full actually. Okay, so if you hit that, uh, hit your use key, which in PC is F, and it should be loading this up. I wonder if those hydrogen tanks are on stockpile. Let's check. Actually, here, I got this on the back. So yes, my hydrogen tank stockpile is on, oxygen tank stockpile is on, so let's turn those off. Hydrogen tank, don't really need the oxygen tanks, there's oxygen in the atmosphere here, so we'll leave that oxygen tank on uh, stockpile for now. So stockpile is just the tank will uh, only allow it to take in the gas and if it has anywhere to take that gas from it will forcefully, forcefully take it from there uh, and you won't be able to extract it so that's what stockpile does uh, hydrogen engine is actually a, an engine that creates power that runs off of the hydrogen um, I don't need it right now because my battery is full so I'm just gonna leave that off until I need it so now that I've turned that hydrogen tank stockpile off, 
could see when I used the survival kit, I filled up my hydrogen on my on my suit. So let's see, where is this nickel deposit? I've also put the over the shoulder mod in here. So looks like that's about that's about it there. Sixty four meters. Get down here and get some nickel. Now I do have the option or the possibility of finding uranium and platinum in the meteor crashes or uh, where they impact in the little craters that they create. Um, you won't get much, <clears throat> but you might get a little bit. So maybe I'll be able to make some high level tools with that if I can find some platinum. Um, I will not be able to build the reactors, I don't think. Uh, actually, I can build small reactors, not the big one. I think the big one takes superconductors. The small one, I think I can build without superconductors. I'm not sure. I don't remember. So we're going to see if we can get down here to this nickel. Cobalt and magnesium are going to be tough to find. I'm probably going to have to build a large block ore detector because they're going to be out of range if they're deep. They're going to be out of range of the small ore detector that I have. So now I do have an ore detector that can reach out a little bit farther. The another mod that I put on here, but um, the small one cannot see. I think it's up to 150 meters is the the farthest it goes. So these other ore that are deeper than that are going to be missed. Let's see if we can get down in here. Here we go. I typically play first person. I'm just kind of documenting or uh, demonstrating, I guess, uh, different options here. The over the shoulder and whatnot. Get some nickel. Let's see, vehicles up here. like three loads of this as well. Don't want to use up my jetpack fuel, otherwise I'm going to have to dig myself out of here at a slope. That will take a while. I'm also going to try to go as long as I can without dying. Um, I don't have it set to hardcore, but I'm going to play like I do. So deaths will be pretty devastating. I haven't decided yet exactly what it will be, but I do want to give myself uh, some kind of, actually I need to f refill hydrogen before I go down there again. Um, going to give myself some kind of negative consequence for death. I haven't decided what that is yet. Whether it's I lose half of my supplies or um, destroy something that I have, either a ship or vehicle, I, I don't know yet what I'm going to do, so uh, if you've got any ideas or 
suggestions on what my <laughs> consequence for death should be, uh, put it in the description below. Let me know what you think would be a good consequence for me dying in this game. What I can do to this character for, for dying. Luckily, my uh, ship did send me down here with a good vehicle that is uh, fully stocked. It didn't have any supplies in it, but the uh, other than a little bit of ice it had, it was full of hydrogen, and the batteries were full, so um, that's good. Not sure what happened to them. But, at some point in this series, we'll find out exactly what happened to those guys. Alright, I think... Uh, let's see what we got here. Did I put this on here? I've got the LCD script. So, let's, let's do something here. Let's, uh... CD, change that, zero, let's check what our cargo is, here we can keep track of how much cargo we've used. Let's give ourselves a little bit more of a color here. 50 and 200. Let's get. Let's do 50 and 200. We'll give ourselves a little bit of a, a little bit of a background on that. So it's not so just dead inside. I guess. Alright, so we've got a little bit of stone, a little bit of iron. Must have picked up some stone when I was down there. Um, we're already at 33% of our cargo, so I don't want to go too much higher than that. we have here? We've got a large cargo container. And what else we got here? Got some gyroscopes. Which programmable blocks. Got a remote, remote controls, that's good. We do have a camera. Let's see what our camera shows us here. Uh, may not be on here. Let's see. Let's add that. Yeah, with the control panel. Alright. A lot of ice. A whole lot of ice. Now one of these big ice lakes would be pretty cool, I could get a lot of hydrogen that way um, for a ship eventually, but I think, I think I might try to find somewhere else and then maybe find a lake that we can, you know, that's close or maybe we set up on a lake, I don't know yet. Uh, we've probably got... 20 kilometers or 20, 30 kilometers to go until I'm ready to settle down somewhere. So um, let's get back on the road here. And we will.
actually. Where is my beacon? I think I can turn the beacon off. Conserve some power. If I can find it. Here it is. Can turn that off. How much do I get my antenna out to 100? Let's go to 500 just so I don't lose it. I think we got enough battery power to maintain that. So this Azov vehicle, I did put it on the uh, on the workshop. All right, I need to fix something here. So my front wheels, I am going to turn off the brakes for that because I do not want to roll this thing forward. There's an unknown signal. Let's go see. Maybe we can get to that and see what's in there. So like I said, I could just, you know, jetpack over there real quick, come back. But because it's over two kilometers, I do not have the ability to do that. I want to get down on that lake anyway. Um, what am I looking at in front of me here? What is this? Weird shadows? What's going on? Oh, I see. It's kind of cool, though, huh? As a matter of fact, that's a that's a pretty cool. That's a good screenshot, huh? There's mountains in the background. Let's get it out a little bit. Yeah. Alright. So we do want to have fun while we're doing this. I don't want to just... Rush to the end. No, this looks like a frosty bitch of a planet. Uh, I'm going to try to enjoy my time here a little bit as much as I can anyway. So on this vehicle I did equip uh, some wheel strength. So if we get heavy loads we can adjust the front and rear separately. Typically like to run the front at about 10 and the rear a little bit less than that. It just kind of keeps you from nosing into something by accident a little bit more. Um, but now that we filled up the rear end, I can probably go up to 10% on the back too. So the wheel strength is basically your, your shocks or your suspension strength. Um, there's also power and all that other jazz. It, uh, there's a lot of videos out there on how all that works, but um, I've got my settings. I, I typically set mine to. Everyone has their own uh, preference. Unknown signal. So these are give me different skins for things. Let's see what I can find. Badger beads, nice. And also you can get some pretty good resources from these as well. Let's kill that battery. Let's see what's in here. Some interior plates, nice. No data pad. I was hoping for a data pad. Sometimes you find those, they'll give you GPS points to NPC stations. Sometimes near, sometimes far. Come on. Okay. 
maybe not. Front end seems a little bit heavy, so I might bump that up to 15. See if it's still got some some bounce to it. Yeah, it does. I don't like it to be too stiff because it tends to to hit things a little bit hard. But um, so I think this is a lake, isn't it? It is a lake, but why am I not moving? Probably caused by that damage. I did try this vehicle out a lot uh, when I built it and it worked fine, so I probably got some damage there causing the hang up. Um, like I said, this vehicle is on the workshop, so check it out. Uh, I put it up there when I built this thing. It's been a month or two now. Um, but it is a cool little vehicle. I've really got to figure out what's what's going on here. Something is not right. Oops. So I did put jacks underneath it. Let's see what's going on here. Something is hanging up. Let's see if I can rebuild that. I did build this before the, uh, the pack came out with the mag plates. Uh, I just used to put wheels on the bottom of these. Um, might be a good idea to upgrade those to the mag plates because it'll actually hold your vehicle there. Um, landing, landing gear were just way too big for this. Um, so on all my jacks, I typically use these wheels just to keep things from breaking and bouncing around weird. Um, I saw something green there for a second. What is broken up in there? Something. Check this side. Everything seems good. Almost looks like we're missing something there. So see, there's a bunker right there. But, I am not prepared to take on anything like that right now. So, we will continue on the road here. we got to keep going south. Yeah, 
Yeah, that did the trick. It's moving again. Good. Alright, so let's go. Let's head that way south. Get out of this North Pole. down there. sounds. Maybe just the wheels on the ground. The tires. I may opt at some point to upgrade these to the 3x3s. Um, I think 3x3s. Are these the... Uh, Tires of these. These are the oh, these are the three by threes. So maybe the five by fives. It was a little bit better ground clearance. Um, I've got a long way to go. You get around all these mountain tops here. Ooh, hello. Bit of a drop. Ooh, a big drop. Should be fine. She's stout. She is stout. Got the brakes on the rear, so I don't have to worry about flipping forward. See Pertam out there in the distance. I don't know what the mod has on Pertam as far as ore goes. We've got her silicon iron nickel. Yeah, I'll just skip on that for now. Hello. Do not want to jump this thing. <laughs> so. little bit worried about my survival kit. It is precious cargo right now. Hello! Break, 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 break. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Go this way. Uh, but now we're really, really leaning. Let's get back up, back up this way, up this way. We have to increase my power a little bit. Let's go up to 60% power. So get up these hills a little bit better. So the compass is also a mod at the top of the screen. Uh, I don't know why games like this do not put compasses in. Also, like 
Star Citizen and other games like that. There's no compass on the planets, like... Yeah, GPS systems in this game and everything, but no compass, like, that doesn't make sense to me. Seems like a... Seems like a... Something that you just would be by default. Oh, we got some cobalt here. That... I lost it. We'll find more. It's no big deal. So we gotta get... Gotta get south. We gotta get south. We're too far north. It's gonna be dark here all the time. I don't want to be in the dark. The days are on a four hour cycle. So it's gonna be two hours of dark. Two hours a day. And I don't want to be in the dark all the time. So... Almost 12 kilometers already. So we're making our way. Making our way south. I think. Another unknown signal over there. Not too worried about that at the moment. We will have plenty of time to gather resources. So I'd like to get at least maybe 30 kilometers. Is that too far? I don't know. Never been on this planet. It's 19 kilometers diameter. So a quarter of the circumference would be... kilometers uh, circumference roughly so that would be a quarter of that would be uh, 26 no sorry 21 so 19 18 it's so actually we're probably pretty close actually This might be our lake here. Do we want to set up on a lake? Should be able to see the moon now. So we've got the moon. Where is the moon? See if we go up a little bit. Uh, 
I do not see the moon. There it is right there. There's the moon. Maybe we'll go check out this little island over here. Whatever that is, this little peninsula island thing. Just love space engineers. It makes you just feel makes you feel humble. And look at this. Look at the land on this. I'm just this tiny speck crossing the landscape. So we'll also be designing all of our ships, all of our vehicles, and everything other than this one, of course, uh, from scratch. Um, so this vehicle is probably not going to be doing a whole lot, considering it has our only our only survival kit available until we get to the moon. Now I can actually find silver on asteroids so there is a potential if I can make it to space maybe I can find some asteroids before going to the alien planet and then have access to some additional survival kits maybe um, could be a thing so I think we're almost how far are we from where we started? 20 kilometers? We're probably almost to the equator. So I think I'm still contemplating whether I want to set up on the ice or not. You know, and this actually looks like a great little spot right here. I can get into this mountainside, get away from the meteorites away from any pesky ember or parallax core uh, attacks that potentially could come. They're not supposed to attack right off, but I have seen a few strave ships or and things attack attack. Yes, yeah, so this is this is plenty plenty large. How far am I? About one kilometer out. Okay. Yeah. This lake is huge. Plenty of ice. Plenty of ice. Okay. We've got iron and silicone there. Fuel low. Oops. Forget about that. Oh. I almost died fuel there. Critical. Let's get my fuel back. Alright. Now, question. Can I make not make bottles with the survival kit. Okay. Uh, data pads. Oh! So this is one thing I'm going to be making data pads and kind of logging my logging my experience in this game as we go. So uh, once I, I can, I will be putting some info in those logs. So here's what we're going to need. What do we got? We're down to 94% battery. So to start off, I'm going to need stone, obviously. Stone can be refined into iron, silicone, and nickel. And then those iron, silicone, and nickel can be uh, crafted into these different components uh, and then these components can be used to build the various um, blocks for our station outpost whatever um, 
Now I do have progression on, so we are going to have to unlock things. So you can see these are kind of grayed out, light, whatever. Um, so in order, to, in order to access any of this, I need to build an assembler, basic assembler. And then in order to access any of this stuff, I'm going to have to build something in here. Um, and so on and so forth, all the way down. So uh, for now, what I need to do is uh, get some stone. So I do not need ice right now. I got plenty of ice if I need it out there. So I am just going to start digging through here until I get to stone. And where's my headlights? They're there. Going up, down, how are we going here? Okay. So I just want to go horizontal. Yeah, so horizontal. Alright, let's start collecting some stone. And get lost in my tiny little hole here. Okay. And yes, it's a tiny little hole. Alright. So, on production for the survival kit, uh, in order to get your iron, nickel, and silicone, you need to go to ingots, and we're just going to uh, refine the stone into ingots. So what I usually do is just crank this up to, you know, however many. The uh, refineries that you build later will automatically refine the stone. In the survival kit, you have to tell it to refine the stone, and that's how you do that, so... like this to be a little less... I don't want to have to use my jetpack to get in and out of here, so let's go... Let's try to open this up a little bit so I can just walk down into it. Start getting my stone. Can I just walk out of here? I cannot walk out of here yet. Whoa. That was fun. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Now I can walk down into it. Eventually this will all get covered up by the floor and the station that we're going to build. <clears throat> and I'm not going for anything super huge and extravagant. Um, I just want something that I can hide my little vehicle in with my survival kit because I do not want to deconstruct it and pull it out of this vehicle. So we're going to try to get this vehicle inside, get it connected up to the station, park it, and go from there. Um, I'm just going to load this thing up with a bunch of ore. Ore being stone, of course. cave here already. First thing I need to do is build a little set of windmills. Um, that'll allow me to keep my vehicle charged. But I do think, how many batteries do I got on this thing? So we've got two batteries, so I think the batteries on this vehicle should have enough output to run a few station drills. So I can run maybe three or four station drills off of those batteries uh, to start the construction of this outpost. 
but I do want to keep those batteries charged up so I'm going to get some windmills up to make sure we don't just drain the tr drain those batteries basically game over for us now what I like to do is just go ham on the ore and the stone uh, just just get at it just spend a little time up front I do not like hand mining, but since our ship decided to abandon us, hopefully that's all it was, maybe they're in distress, I'm not sure. Since we're down here by ourselves with no resources, I don't really have a choice but to mine by hand. These are the components that I found on that drone, or that uh, drop pod, whatever, uh, unknown signal. Uh, so we're already getting almost a thousand iron, nickel and silicone, that's good. Probably will try to get a little bit of ice just to have some extra. It's not a huge deal right now. Since I am on a planet that I can breathe on, and I don't plan on doing a lot of flying around yet, so hydrogen is not necessary quite yet. But it's good to have a little bit of a supply. do want to do is turn that generator off. Uh, generator is off. Okay. You can see when I'm down here my My pack is filling up a lot faster than when you're on the surface. So this rock, as you get deeper down here, is a little bit more... has a little bit more mass to it. A little bit more bang for your buck. And you don't notice it as much here. It looks like it's just pretty much from snow to ice. But on places like the Earth-like planet, uh, things like that, uh, the sandy planet, like Pertram, Petram, Pertam, whatever it is, um, they've got, you know, soil and sand and whatnot at the surface, so that stuff is not as dense as stone underneath. So if you dig down a little bit, you'll be able to fill your pack a lot faster. The supplies. Okay. I think that'll do for now. So what I want to do is production. And actually I've got 20 still plates already, but let's make another hundred. Put the hundred in there. Let's put a Let's put 20 of these, 20 of these, maybe 10 of those, and we're going to need quite a bit of those. 
functions do 50 of those and 50 of those. Energy critical. Yes, yes, energy critical. Alright. Charge faster in the seat, I think. Yes, we do. Oops. Alright, so I think I want to put some windmills up on the mountain. Um, but, let's see. So here's some pe something that people make mistakes with. So right now I'm on free placement so I can rotate this however I want. Um, if you do this, you potentially build your base crooked. So when you're walking through it, it's not you're like standing sideways to it. So if you click your B button on the on the consoles, I'm not sure what it is. Um, if you click your B button, you'll see it aligns to gravity. Also, to rotate it from this, because right now if I do this, uh, I can't rotate it. Like, see, I kind of want it facing towards my sh towards my vehicle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch off of it and go back, and it's going to be facing right at me. So I do not have any uh, plates in my inventory yet. So let's get... What happened to the plates that I had? Did I not pick up plates? Did I drop them? There were 20 in there before. In any case, um, we'll make more. So, if you just switch off it, go back. It will be pointing right at you, but you do have to tell it to realign to gravity. But it will be facing at you, so I think I'm just gonna start here. You will Five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think is good enough. Fuel that will accommodate critical. my vehicle and potentially a little ship when the time comes. And you typically want to go with odd numbered blocks as far as your layouts. Uh, the reason for that is then you get a you get a middle block with a lot of the blocks in this game being a single block wide. Um, it's nice to have the option of putting things like doors and whatnot in the middle, so it's even on both sides. If if you're into that kind of thing, I'm a little bit anal about it. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we're going to go... Five over, is that right? You get five on each side, so that's the middle block right there. So I'm just going to mark this for later. And I might make this red. I'm really going to have to do something about this hydrogen deal, because it's going to be f well, not right now I guess, but it'd be nice to have a little bit more hydrogen to get my windmills up on the mountain. But I guess I can just walk. So I want to go back to that color, and we'll do some colors later. I typically like typically like filling out my whatever I'm building before I put colors to it. Alright, we got 94 steel plate, that's good. There's a wandering merchant over there. Is he on the ground? Or is that a ship? I think it's probably a ship. Never seen an NPC vehicle wandering around. Be cool though. So 
I just want to get a little bit up this mountain so I can attach my windmills. That wouldn't matter really if I put my windmills up here or down there. Um, I just think it's kind of cool to have them up here. I don't know. But the big deal is to keep them a certain distance from the surface wherever they're built. So I think the distance I typically like to go is eight blocks. I'm not sure what the uh, minimum is. But we're going to go ahead and go up eight blocks here. And so I'm just going to call that the second one. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And since we're on the side of a hill here, maybe I'll go a couple extra. Nine, ten, eleven will be good. And then eventually I'll build up from the other side and bring it up here. Um, for now, I just want to do this one. Ooh, I'm going to kill myself. Need more fuel already. Fuel critical. Okay, seven. Can I actually build one of these? I guess I can. So we've got a new one, the wind turbines. Um, the issue is... Wait, did we make girders? I don't think we made girders. Let's make 50 of those. An interior plate we did not make. Oh wait, did we? Yeah, we made interior plate. Let's make a little bit more. Since these take... How many each? 30, 40. So... We've got 30 already. Well enough to make two windmills. So I need another 30 of these. think that'll be enough. Hopefully our iron stocks will stay enough to where we can build all this. Um, another thing I want to put in here is inventory manager, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's do... Izzy's. This does pretty good. Uh, there's some things we can do in here later. I probably don't need to change it for this though. Um, actually, I'm gonna set this to false. Check code. Okay. Okay. that it's doing. So So I know that one's doing the inventory manager. That one I can see LCDs on there, so All right, so we're just waiting on a few things here for the so we can be able to build that wind tower. So if I've got something in my hand, for the new players, um, I can walk up to my access, cargo access, and just middle mouse, and it will pull out what you need, or it will tell you you don't have what you need. <laughs> um, it'll also, if you've got anything in your build planner here, which you can, you can click on something, add it to your build planner, right click it to get rid of it. Uh, if you middle mouse on your container, it will pull as much inf as much uh, resources or, or components as you need, and as will fit in your inventory. 
for all the stuff in your build planner. Um, okay, it looks like all of our stuff built, and we still got a good amount of iron left, so that's good. A little bit of stone, not sure why that's not processing. Maybe 33 is not enough. Yeah, 3373, and we get 3370, wait, what? Uh, I guess we're just just slightly under what's required to, to, to do that. That's fine. Um, so we're going to make that components. I just want all my components to go to one place. I don't like when they're separated and spread out all over. There we go. Moved all of those in there. Cool. Alright, let's see if we've got enough to pull what we need for this. Okay, so we've got enough for that. I would do want to take a few extra steel plates. Because I'm going to put a little platform for me to stand on while I do this. So I'm not using up my hydrogen. And it's putting out four and fifty seven kilowatts, so it's awesome. We can also build one here. Watch my hydrogen, make sure I don't kill myself. And we're going to take these down, so I need those two plates back. Eventually I'll weld all this up. Uh, for now, that'll have to do. So I got my two windmills. And then I'm going to try to build a an assembler. I guess. So here you can see I do not have what I need to build this. It's telling me cannot withdraw, so telling me that I don't have what I need. So if I hit my Alt key and hold it down, then middle mouse. I'm sorry, not Alt. Uh, Shift, middle mouse. It'll actually put that stuff into production. So now it's building what we need. build one assembler. Now something else I'm going to need is a storage container um, to hold all the stuff this thing is, is putting out. Let's, uh, let's clear this. I want to get some some steel plates so I can put a little bit of a bigger platform here. Maybe come out one more block on all these. And eventually I'll have like a ramp here come down that I can drive in and out of. Um, and I might, let's see. More hydrogen. Now wait till I can use. Oops, wrong side. Be nice when I once I get some bottles that I can keep my hydrogen levels up a little bit longer. That's actually the first thing I'm going to do when I get this assembler is build three hydrogen bottles. <laughs> um, so I want my opening to this base to be maybe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe. 
think seven will be high enough. wide and whatever I said tall so we're gonna have to set up a drill system to drill this out um, which if I can manage to get a cargo and all that stuff it'll be good for that too um, I need to set up my blocks here See, I don't use the round ones that much. Let's do this. Put all my armor blocks here. Uh, on my second one, have these, and then conveyor cargo blocks. Oh. Guess I can't. Where's my conveyor blocks at? Build a where's the conveyor? Is this assembler? I've not done progression in a while. Okay, so I just need to build a cargo container and then I have access to all my conveyors. Good. or something. Let's see, stair. No. Just want something I can walk up and down here. Let's do... Oops. Let's do this one and this one. Now here's a little trick. So I want to fill in underneath here. So I used to like go upside down with my jetpack and try to look at the face of that thing. What I found out is if you just hit B, go to local grid alignment, you can actually just place it under there. Oh, of course I don't have steel plate. So B. I don't have steel plate. I'm gonna put those into production. I got one plate, I think. There we go. So I'm gonna weld that one up just because I want to. Oh, I don't have it actually. Okay, there's my little, little ramp to walk up there now. Ward of Lothian. That doesn't sound good. And he's got some support ships with them. Damn. Just stay over there. You can, uh... You can, uh, yeah, just, uh, stay over there, would you? That's fine. That's fine. I'm sure. No, it's not. Not, not at all. Nope. Alright. What do I need? I need an assembler. Steel plates. Let's make some more steel plates. Production. Oh, run out of iron. So. I'm gonna put these off over here where they're out of the way. So I'm gonna face it that direction. And I'm 
gonna have to mine some more more iron. How do I not have I guess I used a lot of stuff up on the uh actually. I use all my iron ingots? I did use all my iron ingots. Okay. It's fine. Just dig some more here. steel plates. Can I get just a couple steel plates for? I don't want all that stuff. I just need four steel plates. make another another ramp for myself to get up and down out of this hole so I can access this side a little bit easier. That's good enough. Alright, let's go. Back to the grind of mining. down here and mine a bunch of stuff and I can just run down here and pick it up. Picking these up. It's the mining, then picking up mining, then picking up mining. It's like if they're just laying on the ground, that's fine. It's having to do both at the same time that drives me nuts. A lot of grinding at the beginning of this game. Inventory full. We've dug out quite the little cavern under there. I don't know how long the game goes before it sends off the first meteor strike, but I certainly hope it does not come my way. I'm not sure if it depends on the amount of progress you've made, or if it's on the timer. I don't really know how it works because I haven't really played with Inventory meteors that much. Full. It's been a long time since I've had meteors turned on in my games. But, I thought it would be good, it's a little bit of a challenge and, and, and increases the nerves a little bit, while also with the potential reward. Platinum, uranium, all that good Inventory stuff. Inventory full. Since we can't find that stuff here. What I need to do, because I hate hand mining, 
now that we've got our windmills up, is actually, I think I will figure out what I need to do to make a... Um, drill, piston, and a connector. Maybe just connect my truck up to a piston with a drill? Inventory full. Or maybe I can just grind off one of these connectors and put a put a piston on the side of my truck and just drill it into the hill. I don't know. But this hand mining is for the birds. Not a fan of hand mining. It's just slow and tedious. I am not into that. I want to build. I'm a builder. I like to build. I don't do a lot of combat, although we are going to have to get into some combat with these Ember and Parallax forces in this game. So eventually that will be a thing. And I might do that via drones, just to keep myself from getting attacked or killed. Because as you are now aware, I want to play this like I'm in a... Inventory full. As if I'm playing a hardcore game. So if I can keep myself out of harm's way, attack with a drone instead of a person flying a ship or whatever, be the preferable thing to do. All right, this stuff, I need to, after I get this stuff in here, I'm going to check what I need to get a drill and all that good stuff. Um, Inventory full. Drill, piston. I need to put more pistons in this game. Inventory so full. we've got a 5x piston. So basically one one of them uh, co compressed or collapsed is the same as Inventory full. one vanilla piston extended. Then it will extend out to basically three times the length. Actually I guess it would be four vanilla lengths worth of pistons in one piston. So I'm not sure why they call it 5x, maybe I'm miscalculating there. but. Maybe one piston is five times the length of a vanilla piston, I'm not sure. But, in any case, it does cost more resources to build it, so you're not, it's not really hacky, it's just less pistons. Which, if I have to manage less pistons when I'm setting up drills, that's better. Inventory full. And then this lake is free for the taking that is going to fill up some hydrogen tanks that uh, I will save that Inventory for later to talk about. Because we do have a hydrogen tank mod. And it is pretty cool. But I'm not ready to show that yet. So. Uh, let's get a last fill up on my inventory. Get an unknown signal one kilometer or one point three, but I don't I don't trust my pack for that distance, honestly. And I don't want to run back a kilometer, so <laughs> I'm gonna let that unknown signal just have at it. Okay, so if I if I put a cargo box here and a piston the 1x 
by five. They also have a one by one, which is pretty cool. It's just like a little s s short piston. Can be helpful for certain things. Um, so I want that, and then a drill. I don't have access to the drill yet. Let's see, where's the drill at? What do I need for a drill? So I need to build a basic refinery. So let's start off with... Um, Basic refinery in here? I don't think it is. Somewhere. Where is it? I guess the basic refinery is just by itself. So actually, let's take this down. We're gonna put a. We're gonna put the assembler here. Turn it that way. We're going to put the refinery here and a. Ooh, that takes metal grid. I do not have metal grid. Okay. Um, I guess it'll just be a conveyor junction. Not unlock conveyors yet. Oh yeah, I have to build this assembler first. That is right. I'll add a different skybox as well for the next next episode. Right, let's move this to the end and see if we can get some of these built up here. So need that. Need more steel plates, I need construction components, I need all kinds of stuff. Yeah, we're not gonna have enough for all that. And that alone is going to take 800 of it. Okay. So I need to dig up more stone. Still, more stone. Still plate and put a little step there because every time I come out, inventory full. Sorry, little guy. 
even though I'm working pretty hard right now. Once I get a large drill going, um, this won't be an issue at all. Just getting there. It takes time. It's fine. Also, once I get that refinery up, I can stuff that. Inventory full. Stuff that uh, ore in there, that iron ore. That'll give me a little bit. So maybe I should build a refinery first. So then I can take the iron, put it back into the assembler or the survival kit here, and that will give me what I need. I played this game for quite a while, many years. Just, I think I bought it when it was in alpha, um, early access, or whatever you want to call it on Steam. Uh, but I've never really taken the time to look into the yield that you get out of the survival kit versus the refineries. When you put ore and stone in them, I don't know how all that works. I just know you put stone in, you get stuff out. <laughs> so, Inventory full. I have gotten more in depth than many other things, but um, looking into the refining and whatnot has not been Inventory full. what I've focused on. Mostly building and ship designing and vehicle designs is what I've looked at. Um, base designs, logistical things, uh, not to the degree of refining and assembly your yields. So. Still gonna need a lot of this, I believe. And eventually I'm gonna have to drive and find some cobalt because I can't go without some storage containers. Now I could build some large small block storage containers, which are the same capacity as a small large block, so I might do that. Um it's just a little bit of a headache to to deal with, and honestly, I don't know if I want to dig down 600 meters with my hand drill for cobalt. That might have to be something that we that we look at for uh, some kind of drill ship or something. I don't know. All right, let's see. So we need to get this refinery going, and I'm gonna move. this over here energy low yes yes energy low energy low all the time okay let's just get rid of the assembler I want to do the refinery first let's see if we can get this refinery up and running How do we not have a hundred steel plates? What's going on here? All right, let's put you at the back. And actually, let's just cancel. Cancel all of this. So I need... That. Just 
want you to build what I need for that. Okay. So we got 2,000 iron. It's going to take 400. Okay, we got enough for this. Good. Now what I'm going to need to do, because that drill and everything is going to be pretty big, is probably clear out space for it. So, while I'm waiting for that stuff, I can clear out the drill space for the piston and the drill and all that good stuff. I'm going to start with one just so I can get some materials and resources, um, however, Once I get going, I'm going to build some drills to take this entire section of, of area out and dig a hole for myself. So, we can get a um, nice little hidey hole, hangar, outpost, base, whatever you want to call it, in here. Away from the meteors and the Incon Parallax forces. Um, get my survival kit somewhere safe right now I'm not comfortable with where it's at okay I think this is done yes 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 Low. See if we can get the assembler. Okay, cannot get the assembler. So I'm going to take the iron. I'm going to put it in here. Get that thing going. Because that will be very helpful. One thing I'm not sure about, well actually, a lot of things I'm not sure about, but I don't know, does the assembler use less materials to build things than the survival kit? Less ore? It's like if I built a steel plate on the survival kit, does it take less resources than to build a steel plate and assembler? I don't know. Why do I keep doing that? I need. So here's what I'm gonna do: large container. This little trick I came up with. If you put an underscore there, it will put your cargo container at the top of the list right here. Okay, so I think, yeah, so like, one steel plate here is seven iron ingots, so we'll have to see. See how much it takes out of there. Oops. Well, it looks like we've got everything we needed for this. Cool. Alright, now I should be able to build conveyors. So the only problem is if I put my conveyor here, I'm not going to have access to any of that stuff. 
So I may have to tear one of these down and redo it. Um, how's that work? Do both of these only have one opening? Oh, this has got two openings. Okay, cool. So I can put a conveyor there. Good, 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 good. I still can't build conveyors? What is going on? What is happening? I thought the assembler would unlock the conveyors. Oh no, cargo container. Um. All right, quit telling me my power is low. Okay, so if I grind this container down and then weld it back, does that give it to me? It does, it does, it does. Sweet. Yes, that's what I was looking for. That's what I wanted. Alright. Hopefully I can finagle this to where I can get my vehicle up, because I want to put a connector on this and connect my vehicle to it. So all I got out of that was... build small tubes in this. I cannot build small tubes in this. So I need to take this out for now. Until I... So that just takes iron. You can do that. Let's take... Yes. Put it over there. If I do this, take some nickel. Put it over there. Take some silicone. Put it over there. Now, if I tell it to build this. I need to put a connector onto this thing. 
connector. I see it here, but I want the. I want that. This was looking for. So that takes. And actually, what I want to do is take all of this. Dump it over here. Just use the station to build stuff from now on. took seven in there to make that, so here it takes seven also. Okay, so it doesn't make a difference. All components were deposited, okay. Uh, take that, put it in there. So, <coughs> build a connector. Also want some hydrogen bottles. Hydrogen bottles now. So let's go ahead and fill those up. Actually, I'll just put them in here and it should automatically fill up. Maybe. Oh! My H2 generator is not on. Let's turn that on just for a second. Actually, maybe I'll leave that on for a minute while it fills up those other tanks that are in there. I should have my bottles full now, though. Yes. Okay, back at 100. Let's turn that off. And... It's getting a little dark. So let's turn the service lights on. Okay, let's just make 30, 30, 30, 30, oops, not that, 30, 40 of those, let's make some more of those, okay, now, I think if I take it up Half a block. So, five. So, I think if I build this out like so, I have to move this.
this guy out of the way. tracks for him to drive on. again. Why does that? I didn't even wreck. Alright, well let's just back up. Actually, I'm going to have to out here a little bit more. Let's go. Quit resetting on me. There we go. Something's wrong with my wheels again. I don't know what is happening down here, but something is in the way. I think it's that guy. So I'm just going to get him out of there. It's not driving as smoothly as it was. Put a button for the projector on this thing. Let's see. Let's see, that's switch the lock on the connector. Jack pistons, I don't think it did. Turn that projector off though. Oops. Turn off the projector. Oh yeah, much better. You can actually drive now. Get up on there. Bit of scrape, not too bad. And am I gonna? I may not be able to lock without having that center. He's not wide enough. Okay, well, that's fine. guys in. Wait to get this connected, it'll be nice. Oh, way, way too fast. Perfect. <laughs> It's fine. Just getting a little anxious, I guess. Yeah, I think 
that'll reach it just nicely. We have to do some finagling to get it lined up close enough. Am I going to even be able to do that? I may have to build that connector out farther. Alright, let's do that. It's not the driver's seat. Hey, look at that. Lines up perfect. If I want it better, I can just blue. group Here's that piston. I think we might need a little bit more for the drill right here. A bit more space. These drills have a weird box around them. Might be enough. in the way. What's in the way? I can't tell what's in the way, but it's probably something here, maybe?
There it is, right in front. I saw a little tiny bit of red line missing over here. piston is missing a piston head. So that could be a problem. <laughs> yes. Alright. Add piston head. Now let's see if it works. Hey, there we go. Alright, so I need get rid of that. Need this, this this and let's get those in there large steel tubes I don't know what that takes to build now just iron is all iron. But do we have enough iron? We should. Let's do a little bit of finagling here while we're waiting. Let's do... Oh, this is the passenger seat again. So we've got all of that up there. Let's add to this second one. Power, power summary, power time. And let's decrease the text font size. 0.7 maybe? 6. Oh, that's changing the wrong one. One, I need top right. Point seven, point seven five, point. Actually, that's fine. That fits. Take this down. One hundred fifty, two hundred and fifty. We're outputting almost a, a megawatt, 940 kilowatts, and we're only using 250 
kilowatts. So roughly 20, oh, now it's up to 500. A lot of that's probably going to the charging of the batteries. They, they tend to, to eat the juice. when they are charging. Okay, let's get... We're almost there. Almost home free. here so let's turn this on and we are going to uh, impulse this at 1.1 1 .1. it's a good speed just for a single straight drill may have to think about doing that here. I don't know how much this drill will draw power for. Uh, actually, not bad. We're only using about half of our wind, wind power capacity. We do still have the batteries as backup right now. They're set to charge, so they're not helping, but uh, it's adding a lot of ice, I bet. I may have to turn that other... I don't want to use up all my inventory on... Why is it not filling with... It should be filling with ice. It is. There's the stone. That's what we needed. No more hand drilling for me. Thank you very much. I guess until I find some <laughs> cobalt and I'm not ready to drill it with a vehicle or whatever. So these pistons will extend out to 35 meters. Um, the vanilla one is 10 meters. So yeah, it just keeps from having to, to build a bunch of extra pistons. Keeps the uh, game lag down a little bit keeps from having to manage micromanage multiple pistons in this like in this case I'd have to have three or four of them here instead of just the one that I have to worry about uh, just makes things a little bit easier again quality of life so you can focus on the things that are important and not so much repetitive things like five pistons Alright, what's our inventory looking like? I may have to set up an LCD screen. Oh, we're full. We're full, we're full, we're full. I want to stop that. Turn the drill off. And we're going to have to figure out a way to do some storage here. don't want it to be in the middle there where it's in the way and I have no way of moving it right now. So, let's do... So I can either 
set up an ejector on the other side. How much ice do we got? Actually, not as much as I thought we would. So it's all just pretty much stone. This refinery, get rid of this, would you? Thank you. Why is it? I was gonna say we could uh, set up an ejector on the other side to get rid of the gravel, but we really don't have that much gravel right now. As much as I expected. So we just gotta wait till this stuff grinds down into iron and silicone. Transport courier. You just transport away from here. It's fine. Thanks. So I think what I want to do is look at my progression, and I can do an ore detector. So let's maybe build, actually before I do that, let's see, can I build better tools? Cobalt. Cobalt. I cannot build better tools. Alright, so let's do an ore detector and let's just put one right here. Just want to see if there's any cobalt nearby. can see that the smaller ore detector cannot. dark for a while. Sun should be coming up though. At some point, I will probably, this video will probably last until, until dawn maybe? Not sure how long I'm going to go today. We'll see. Come on, come on, a couple more computers. Okay, that's good enough. Alright, let's see what we got here. Actually, so there is cobalt right below me. Well, isn't that convenient? Whoa. Yeah, let's not kill ourselves, thank you. So it's 300 meters right here, roughly. There's also magnesium down there. Nice. So we've got everything right here. We've got iron, silicone, cobalt, magnesium. The only thing we don't have is nickel. Do we see nickel anywhere? You know what? I haven't even turned the drill up to full potential yet. So let's do that. 
Let's turn this ore detector off. We're not going to need it right now. Let's turn that one up to 1250, see what we can see. Take a second to regen everything. Maybe. Yeah, so there's nickel over there too. So we got everything right here. I could have picked that better myself, actually. Well, I did pick it, I guess. <laughs> so, we've got some work to do. We've got cobalt to dig up. Magnesium's right here. Pretty big deposit of it. Pretty deep down there, though. 400 meters. So we've got a piston that goes out 35, and then it is 5, let's see, 2, 3, so it is 5, 10, 15 meters long and 35 out, so that is... 50, I guess that's why they call it five times a piston, but it still doesn't make sense because a piston extends 10 and it's another two 10 long, so it's 30, so it's really not, or it's, uh, it's uh, what is the regular piston? So the regular piston is two blocks. So that's 5 plus the 10 that it extends out, so it's only 15. So 50 is not 5 times 15, so I don't know. But anyway, uh, point is, so to get down to the cobalt, 400 meters, we're going to need get a lot of those pistons. <laughs> we need 12 of these pistons to dig down to that thing? I don't know if I want to do that. Should that nickels... Oh. Too far from my antenna. I should set my antenna to two kilometers. That way, that's my range. So if it, so if I get out of range of it, then I've gone too far. That's a no-no. Well, the nickel's not bad. It's only 100 down there. I mean, honestly drilling out this wall. We will have plenty of iron, silicone, and nickel when we dig out this, uh, this hangar. So probably don't need to worry about that, but the, the, the cobalt, 400 meters, that's 12 drills down. Or I could just build a ship or something to do it. Um, problem is to build a ship, I need cobalt, so <laughs> that's not gonna work. Yeah, we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do drills, I guess. That's fine. We can run some. Ooh, that is dark. Holy cow, that's dark. Where is my headlight? Have a headlight? Where's my headlight? Uh, well, it's 300 from here. We'll figure something out. We can get down to it. That is super dark. Ok, 
Okay, how's our... Actually, I might. Let's do that. I need to see... Oh, I don't have LCDs unlocked. Need to do a light. Okay, let's just... need is an event controller to turn these batteries on and off. Critical. These LCDs... Uh, where do I tell it to... Look at subgrids. I want subgrids. Maybe I can't. set up a programmable block on here. Which we can do. That is not a way I want to die. Also, I got bottle, automatic bottle fill, so as I'm sitting here, it should fill this up automatically too. leave that generator on. I don't think it needs the ice unless it needs to, so. Are you building anything right now? What's happening? Okay, so I need to put LCDs here.
want this to just show inventory components component yeah just components make sure we get it all on one page because I hate when it's scrolling that's good don't like the white at all Should be fine. Okay, so yeah. yeah I'll put two LCDs. Cargo should show. Okay, so we're still at ninety seven. And then the last thing is we need one more. crafting give that a minute to catch up actually might need to re compile this doesn't work across grids either. Do I need another programmable block? I guess I do. inventory manager on here and check code okay and then we're just gonna go down to here and turn this to false again our auto crafting should be on is it not what's happening Sorting. There we go, auto crafting. Auto disassemble. Actually, no, I don't want to set that yet. Um, I misspell it. Oh, 
Oh no, there it is. Okay, good. So, let's do... Let's do one of each here. So I can see everything. catch up. I don't know. Where do I need to turn this one off? Maybe it doesn't work with the small refinery, or the small assembler, that could be. It was supposed to happen when you craft something, like see there's no computer on there? When you craft a computer, it's supposed to, oh there we go finally, okay good. It's supposed to add everything you add, everything you craft the first time should add it to this list. So maybe it's just slow. It's fine. So on all these things, I want to make a minimum of everything. So construction components, detector, displays, girder, large tubes. It's fine. Motor. Steel plate, solar panels, I don't, well we can set one of those up uh, next time, but will they take 40 each or is it 80, or 60, maybe, s actually I think it's 60, so we'll go to 40, that'll give us four of them. Uh, radio communications, our station will probably need an antenna. So let's do that. Power cells. I want to build two station batteries. Bulletproof glass. We can do 50 of those. Computers, let's do 500. So what this does is it'll automatically craft and maintain that number so long as it has enough ingots uh, so let's see which does the solar panel take? oh it only takes 32, what am I thinking about? doesn't matter, anyway um, yeah so if you take anything out of there it'll automatically replace it by crafting it if it needs to which is nice looks like our car goes down to 44 so I might I might crank this on again let's uh... Let's see where's my buttons at how do I make a button buttons I need to build a battery I can do a small battery here on this vehicle real quick.
Energy low. We'll just let it sit there. Couldn't hurt. All right. So I want a button. Piston and drill. Call this station drill. This is gonna be station drill. On and off, so we're just gonna be able to toggle this on and off. And when this thing gets near full, we'll just turn it off again. Curious. Okay, so this is local time. It's two thirty eight. Is that yeah, that's local in the game because so it's changed again, so I guess around like five AM or something, five thirty? is uh sunrise maybe mm. and that will be a nice little conclusion to this episode um geez we're already 100% we're gonna definitely need more storage containers um maybe I'll do that here while I'm waiting so if we Set up another energy critical connector here. Get some more energy. Steel plates. I need so many steel plates. I just need enough to make it functional. Five more. So let's go eight. Click it again. Now this is a little tricksy. A little tricksy. So if I drop it there. It should automatically pull together. So if I increase the strength on this thing. The strength on this thing should pull it up. Yes, there we go. I'm gonna wait till it's horizontal. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I didn't mean to do that. So, I feel like I'm like on the price is right. Spin the wheel, spin the wheel. Let's see if I can get that 99 cent mark. That's close enough. All right, 4 now I can connect my container. 
containers. Oh, and that's not gonna work. It's not... Horizontal enough. this then. Where is my... Things are not snapping like they used to. Man, is it. We got weather again? Are we out? Our windmills are going. Maybe we're getting like some kind of snowstorm. And these things are going now. Wow, 600. I should put a battery down and get that thing charged up. I'll do that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so now I've got that container. Holds the same as a small container. Like this, but it does not take metal grid. Which is nice. Alright. Let's put this in there, let's clear out my build thing, planner, and let's go for a big battery. Just dump it right there. Now what I did put on here too is I put on the advanced welding mod. So when the time comes where I want to move this battery back into the t into the hangar, uh, you just hold down control and you can actually grind it and it will detach it from the grid. So then you can grab it and move it around. Um, which is helpful. Power cells, power cells, we got six of them. Need to put those in the front of the line. Right now. That's what I need to finish this thing. Pop this on for another couple meters, maybe. And then soon we'll be at the extent of this piston, so we're going to have to figure something out, rebuild it, whatever. Maybe we can grind it down and then push it out and attach it to another piston and just keep digging back in there. Let's see, how's our cargo doing? 50% should update maybe there it goes 
Oh yeah. Did I hit like a empty spot back in there or something? It's weird. Cause now it's filling up like crazy. All right, let's turn it off. All right, we got our power cells. Let's get this thing recharging. Energy low. Gotta really be blown now. Almost 700 kilowatts. It's incredible. I might snap another windmill up there. bars oh god that is really freaking foggy well, snowstorm I guess I don't really know storms in this game really just look like fog to me sometimes you can see the rain a little bit Trying stuff I've never done before. I never really got into windmills too much. Yeah, that one's not put down as much. Too close to the ground. It's fine. It's giving some power. That's all I care about. Um. This thing should be charged in 13 minutes, that's good. And it is almost 4 a.m. Planet time. Local planet time. And I wanted to go back in here and see... What we got. So it's just... I thought maybe something... It's weird, because we... The cargo stopped filling up for a moment. And, like the drill was just hitting thin air. That's fine. Alright, we're still making materials. Uh, what, do we, what do we build next? What do we build next? I guess... Big thing is... Um, I mean, we could put another refinery. See, the problem is... I can't build the big refineries until I get metal grid. So I'm gonna have to go after that cobalt if I want to progress any farther than where I am right now. As far as uh, components and everything goes. Um, this assembler will only build so many, so or so many things. Um, the bigger assembler takes 10 metal grid. So this assembler I guess it builds pretty much everything except for like thruster components, reactor components, which I'm not gonna need yet and I can't do it until I get metal grid anyway. 
So maybe we're fine for now. Although a larger assembler would be a lot faster. Um, what do you think? On the next episode, should I dig into the mountain or should I go for the cobalt? What do we want to do? I am not sure. Leave a comment below. What do you think we should do next? What should our priorities be? Should we get into shelter away from potential meteor showers and enemies? Um, should we focus on getting down to that cobalt? Should it be an effort? A lot of welding? Uh, let me know. Let me know what you think. Or should we just do something crazy? Should we build an ice drill? Put a bunch of engines up? Run the station on hydrogen? Um, I don't know. I don't know. But our goal is to get up to the... Up to space. We need some more silver. We need an additional uh, survival kit ability. We need cryopods medical bay, all that good stuff. Um, we also need magnesium for weapons if we're going to go to the to Titan, the moon, uh, to get gold uh, and, and, and potentially silver there. Um, we're going to need weapons to kill the spiders because I think spiders are turned on here. So let me know what you think we should do. Um, a lot of options right now in early game. Man, I wish the storm would end. I'll crank this up a little bit again. Let this thing run out to its uh, max distance. It's almost there. It's got another half a block or so. Maybe more than half a block. One, two, three, four. Wait. Is that why they call it a five? Are these things five long? One, two, three. Oh, that's why. I thought they're only three blocks long. They're five. I gotcha. Alright, there's the um, max distance. What we're going to do is reverse this, turn the drill off, we don't need to drill on the way out. What I do know is we probably got a lot of gravel. So I might turn gravel gravel. Don't take up a lot of space. Do we use gravel in anything right now? I don't think we do. We'll use it for reactor components later, but I think we can, you know, we can get gravel anytime really. Um, I might turn this into an ejector. So let's grind this off. in a sorter. Oops. A sorter. Uh, is that right? Yeah. A sorter there. And then we'll put this back. Um, turn this off for a minute. need another eight. Another connector. 
be able to connect connector. Why? Oh. There's a plate right there. Okay. Tell this to collect all and throw out. I'm going to change this to ejector. Then we're going to go to the connector or uh, sorter, and we're going to uh, drain all. On. Nope, I don't want that yet. We're going to go whitelist. Turn it to gravel at the gravel. Now we're going to turn it on. We're going to change this to ejector sorter. In case just throwing gravel out. Now, what I want to do is somewhere, maybe here. happening get pushed around okay want to add a button create an injector group and then I'm going to apply that to this. Ejector, toggle on off. So now I can just come in and turn this system on and off as I please. We'll leave it on while this thing's running. But I may not want it to toss stuff out later, so. Alright, let's put all this back. Uh, this thing's almost pulled back all the way. Gotta figure out how to do this. I think I have an idea. So if I put, and actually the sun's coming up now, oh there's, so yeah, we're almost to the equator, so it gets brighter there, eh, maybe, is that directly east or is that east, I don't know. If can't tell because the, uh, the clouds make it brighter looking than it might actually be. Um, any case, uh, we will build this up here. We're going to need another piston. But we just want a small piston this time. I think that'll be enough to do what I need to do. This can just be repeated. Uh, let's see. Maybe this way?
Hmm. Actually, it should work. Just need to modify this a little bit more. Sun should be peeking itself over in a few more minutes. It's getting close. It's getting real close. Uh, yeah, so I think that is going to work, actually. So that one, that one, and then I need, uh, let's see, I need the small piston. Actually, I don't know if this is going to work. It should work. This shouldn't have to move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, put a mag plate on it so I can hold the piston in place. I'm going to drill the piston off of the grid. Then I'm going to use a merge block or a weld pad or something to attach this to the piston push it forward so I can get behind it to add another piston. Uh, a lot of setup, but uh, once it's set up I should be able to repeat it for pistons as we go along. So. By the way, if you're here watching still, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, I'm kind of new to this, so hoping to find some new viewers. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more, just uh, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit that little bell, you know, the whole YouTube thing. Um, I'd really appreciate it. And it'll let me know that you guys want to see more of this video, this content. I have been playing Starfield, so I'm not not completely off on that. Um, and it's a cool game, I like it. So what I'm going to do here is put four... It's not going to work. I need just half plates, I guess, maybe. Oh, actually, you know what? It's not working because I don't have any metal plate. So let's go metal plate. And it's still not working. That works though. Now, the question is can I get a. Mag plate in there. Is that gonna let me do that? Yes, it is. Good. So what we're gonna do is pull this forward. Hold that in place. Now the thing I don't know is Thank 
Energy critical. Yeah, yeah. Hoping to get this done before the sun comes up. I love that it fills the oxygen bottles automatically. Or hydrogen bottles. Well, oxygen bottles too, I guess. Sometimes you got to middle click on that thing multiple times to pull the materials out. I think it looks in the first container and if that it that you're connected to, and it pulls what it can from there. And if it's missing an item, even though that item may be in some other container down the line, uh, it doesn't look past the container that it pulls an item out of first. So just keep clicking that middle button if you know you got something, and it should to pull it out. Okay, let's see how this works now. I want to be over here so I can see this. I don't know when I grind this off if it's going to disconnect the mag plate. If it does, this isn't going to work. If the mag plate stays attached, and it did, so we're in good shape. So this piston now is completely separate from the grid. So the only thing holding into place is that mag plate. So what I can do now is take this and we're gonna rotate it that way. Mold it up together. Get the parts. It should connect it together here. Maybe, maybe. So this should connect it when I turn this off or switch the lock. Please? Maybe, please, maybe. Why no word kink? Why no word kink? sticking oh this thing auto lock off switch lock should be connected to the piston. I don't think the piston's connected anymore. Um, maybe if I... Do that, maybe I can connect the... this thing here and force it together somehow? Need it to be functional. Let's see if I can get this connected. There we go. So why is it not? Did I not grind this all the way? Nothing to detach from it says.
Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Why did I do that? Now I need to weld this together, apparently. Shit. That's not gonna work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think the issue is. out one block because I think when I welded these or when I merged it together it merged it to that piston that's why the piston couldn't push this one out so we'll move it over one block get it out of the piston sh uh, sleeve area There we go. Should be pushing the piston away. Actually, no, because it's connecting it back to that grid right there. Dang it! Energy low. The way to do this is to get, to remove that. Well, actually, it's connecting it to all this too. Dang it! All right, this ain't gonna work. It's not gonna work. But, here comes the sun, so with that, let's get an extra trash pile here, that's good. With that, I guess we are calling it uh, an episode. So thank you all, and I hope that we see you again. Again, please leave a comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time as we continue our little our little build here. Um, pretty soon, this thing is going to take off, and we will get a lot of materials. We'll get some cobalt, maybe ice. Again, let me know what you think we should do next. Thanks, y'all. Have a good one.